everyone, welcome back to the Chef Papa Delicious cooking channel. Today, we're not gonna be cooking. Probably better, maybe you're tired of me cooking some shitty recipes. We've seen a bunch of videos on freaking Buzzfeed and all this. It's gonna be me, Chef Papa Delicious, trying all the Greek products that Trader Joe's provides. They have some stuff that wasn't at Trader Joe's when we went and got it, but we have a shitload of different Greek products that they sell and let's see how Trader Joe's does. So if you come over here, we'll start off from right to left. We've got Spanakopita, a classic Greek savory pastry with spinach and cheese. This is interesting. It's Greek style chicken with orzo, spinach and feta. I have high hopes. I guarantee if we made that fresh, it would be really, really good. We have authentic Greek feta in the brine. Of course, Greek Kalamata olives. 100% Greek Kalamata extra virgin olive oil. We have halva, tahini based little snack. There's multiple different versions of halva, but this is like the type that it's already pre-packaged and stuff. Olive tapenade with kalamata and halkidiki olives. They didn't have regular tzatziki, they had avocado tzatziki. So pretty weird, but we're gonna try it. Avocado tzatziki, we'll see. This is uh, gigantes and tomato sauce or giant baked beans. There you go. Of course, a classic Greek salad. It's not a real Greek salad because there's the lettuce, but there we go. We also have a tiropita. So it's similar to spanakopita, but this is just cheese. But theirs is kind of weird. It's gura caseri, kafalotiri, semi hard cheese, and blue cheese. Never heard of blue cheese in a tiropita, but we'll see how that goes. And of course, pita chips, but those are generic. What I'm gonna do is bake everything to the directions that it calls for. We'll plate up everything all nice with some bread and pita chips, and we'll see how it tastes. All right, everyone, we got our whole spread over here. We've got our calamaro olives, the avocado tzatziki, weird thing, the yigandes, the olive tapenade, the feta, the Greek salad, the bread, the pita chips, spanakopita, tiropita, the orzo pasta thing, and the halva. We got everything set up. Beautiful, ready to go. Let's quit talking and let's eat some stuff. We have all the food prepared, ready to go. We have it all plated nice and beautiful, okay? So we'll go step by step. We have a little psomaki, a little pita chips, and we'll try everything and see how it turns out. What do you want to start with, Jimmy? You want to start with the spanakopita? Sure. So we're starting with the spanakopita. <laughs> <laughs> okay, not the best I've ever had, but but Trader Joe's is fine. It's kind of bland. Yeah. There's not really that much flavor. Like you don't really get feta. Yeah, there's no you feta. You don't get like a... I like it because you don't really taste too much feta. But honestly, if you compare it with the frozen spanakopites you can find in like the Greek frozen section, yeah. it's similar. No. Yeah, okay. it the is. Greek ones are better. So we're gonna go one to five. Not five one to is five. The best. Five is the best, one's shit. Okay. I give this a two. Two. I'll go with the three. Okay. okay. I would get it again. Let's go tiropita now. This is the Gouda 5 cheese BS. Again, kind of bland. Like, it's a lot of filo. The filo is actually pretty good. A lot yeah. of filo. Not that much cheese. I don't know. I, I don't think the cheese is that good, but I think it's like too much. I don't know why they do all this. Maybe it's a bunch of shavings and they just put it together. I, the blue um, cheese is weird. I don't know why they do that. Yeah, but I don't know why they I, put blue cheese. Give it a two, dude. Eh. It's kind of... Two. Yeah. Yeah, too. I had the spanakopita before the tiropita. I would, I would agree. The spanakopita is probably better. And that's not saying a lot. Which they're one would bad. you eat? <laughs> they're, they're both <laughs> bad. Spanaki. This is orzo pasta with spanaki and chicken, feta. I don't know. Actually, it's not that bad. It's not bad. No. A little, I like the olive part. Mm -hmm. It's alright. Not bad. From one to five, I give it a three. Yeah, I would say, no, I would say like 3.5. Ah, two. Oh, okay. Is this feta from Traders? Yeah, it's Greek feta. You pointed it out, Jimmy. Try the feta. The feta is really creamy. Yeah. It's not bad, but it's really creamy. It's... Like with feta, you get kind of that acidity, sharpness from the brine, but I really don't taste that. It's all right. Tell yeah. you what, Jimmy, this ain't no vovoni, baby. No, it's not. Well, this feta is more like cream cheese. 0.5. Oh. Point five. Uh, yeah, I give it like a two. I give it the two. It's not the best feta in the world. Yeah, but that's for sure. So this is the tapenade. What do you think, Baba? 
I give it a zero. <laughs> zero? <laughs> it's that bad? It doesn't have any of the olive flavor. It doesn't have any of the olive oil. I don't know. It's very light. Yeah, that's not good. Just texture in your mouth, dude. Mm -hmm. That's this it. Is, it. Yeah, it is very It's very bland. bland. Like, yeah. it's very flat. It's weird, dude. It's not, I would think it would be more flavorful, but well, it's kind of just there. You give it a zero. I give it a one. Mm, yeah, like a one. Avocado tzatziki, baba. Okay. So, ¿Qué pasó, Malaca? It also has jalapeno in it. The same bat. It has the tzatziki taste. It has a good with like taste. a little, a with little, little dill. spice. Let's keep Mexican food great. <laughs> Let's keep Greek food great. <laughs> don't mix the two together. You don't want my like a fusion, no. baby. That's a point five. Like a two. I don't think I'd buy it again. I definitely wouldn't buy this again. But yeah, I would say like a two, two point five mm -hmm. maybe. We but can't go bad with you on this. <laughs> now this I'm anymore. really familiar with. I get this a lot. I will not see any difference between this gig and this and from other Greek manufacturers. It's got the sauce, it's got the olive oil, it's good. I give it a four. Uh, so I realized I didn't say shit when it came to the gig on this. Um, basically all you gotta know is that it was really good and the average score was a four. Kalamatos. You can't go wrong with them. I mean, they're from Kalamata, right? I give them a four too. Yeah, four. They can't mess up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe get him from some farm in Kalamata and call it a day, right? Yeah, let's give it a four. Now, we're trying the Greek salad. Now, from the look, already it's not a real Greek salad. It tastes like an -inspired. American Greek salad. It's a like... Greek-inspired salad. Like if you're on your lunch break and you got this, I would be satisfied. It will be okay. I would say a four. Greek salad. I think it's a good representation of a Greek American salad. Okay, I'll give it a three. How about that? Now, I right. want. It's not bad. Yeah. Actually, it's not bad. It's not bad. I mean, it has the Greek flavoring and everything. So I fudged up once again. Um, Halva, it was okay. It was good. My dad liked it. Okay. Bye. I'm not giving it a score. Bye. That's it. We've That's had it. everything. Yeah. I guess we can give our final thoughts as Greek people. But Bob, what would you say if Trader Joe's is watching? What would you say to them? I mean, for people who are not Greek, probably they will think, eh, it's fine. But uh, if you're Greek and you grew up with Greek food, this is nothing that great. It, it's not uh, that bad either. I mean, if you have nothing around, if you live in the middle of uh, Wyoming and there's not a Greek place around, you don't have that many opportunities. Just in your opinion. So what, if Trader Joe's is watching, what would you say? I like the gigantes. In general, it's fine, whatever. It's nice that they're representing Greece. In, in my final opinion, if Trader Joe's is watching, first and foremost, to follow off your statement, I mean, it's cool that they're pre representing Greece, that they get products from Greece. Uh, so, you know, people in Greece with farms or, you know, families in Greece are getting money from Trader Joe's. I think the food's okay. It can definitely be a little bit better. I would say overall the flavor is very bland. It's very just kind of there. Like this olive tapenade, I don't know whose recipe you guys freaking used, but this is the most bland thing I've ever had in terms of olives. Um, the olive oil is actually pretty good. The olives are good. So you start off with good base, but I don't know what the hell you did because it doesn't taste good. Overall, it was kind of eh. I didn't expect it to be like mind blowing. Um, I was excited though, but I would say thanks, but also giving an opportunity for promoting Greek food. Yeah, and Trader yeah. Joe's a lot of the times they're, um, they get this stuff dis well, they distributed get... from, you know, no, the countries they... of uh, origin. So they're providing jobs and providing economic opportunities. Well, they can definitely do a little bit better of a job, but your core stuff is good. Overall, what? 2.5, I would say. I don't yeah, know. I give it a solid three. It exists. Solid three, yeah. Two. The prices aren't, aren't crazy. The prices are pretty attainable. They're nothing okay. like super expensive. But either way, Trader Joe's, I respect the hell out of you guys. I buy a lot of your non-Greek products anyways. But thank you guys so much for watching. Okay. I do. Bye. Bye.